Team Canada has been showing some incredible talent and skill at this year's Beijing Winter Games. And at TMS, we're drawing inspiration from these athletes. We sure are. Here's chiropractor Stephen Gray, who's got some home workouts, all inspired by some of our favorite Olympians. He joins us this morning from Toronto. Okay, Stephen, let's dive right in. First up, we're going to show some love to Piper and Paul, our figure skating duo. And you say lunges are a great way to kind of target that leg power that's needed? Yes, yeah, so I have been glued to the Olympics. One uh, event in particular, of course, is figure skating. I love how much power these athletes can create while skating. <laughs> but in particular, how much power they can create off of a single leg. So to replicate it for our at-home workout, we are going to be doing a twist on the traditional burpee. So normally, a burpee starts standing and you move into a squat and jump out into that full plank. Instead, right. today though, we're gonna start like this and slide one leg back into that single lunge, like so. Use your hands for support. You'll feel a nice stretch into that back leg and into that front leg. From here, you're going to slide back up into standing position, swinging that leg forward into a single leg hop. And there you have it. From there, you can repeat lunge, hop, lunge, hop. And that will really target and focus on that single leg power, just like the Olympic figure skaters. Oh, Steven, it's targeting more than just that. Trust me. <laughs> I need Q Phil Collins again. Like, yeah. I need to do my routine on the ice. All right. <laughs> Our next event, we're heading to the slopes now, and we're going to give a shout out to James Crawford, who won bronze in the men's alpine skiing event. And you say to do, oh, there he is. All right. Okay. So here are the key spots we're going to be focusing on because this is what they do when they're training. Yes. So. You'll notice when skiers are coming down the hill, they are literally sliding down ice at incredible speeds. And yet they're able to finesse and control that. In particular, the control is coming through that pelvis in a muscle called gluteus medius. So to work that muscle, we're actually gonna copy that alpine skiing stance today. So legs are gonna start in a nice shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider. Clasp your hands for a little bit of that extra support, engage the core and move into that small squat. From here, you're gonna move to the side, taking small steps one foot at a time. And there you have your monster walk. You can move all the way across the room one side and then repeat on the other side. Try to focus on maintaining that small squat the entire time and take small controlled steps. And they'll, you'll be, training that gluteus medius, just like those Olympic alpine skiers. They're on fire, Stephen. On lower, fire. Lower, Jeff. It looks good. Someone, <laughs> someone call 911. We got an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on next to speed skating. Stephen Dubois recently won a bronze in speed skating and short track. And our workout for this one, this is going to target the uh, inner thigh, Stephen? Yes, so speed skaters have to create a lot of acceleration, but having that control as they round those sharp corners. So a lot of that stability moving through their knee is gonna come from that inner thigh, or what we call in clinic, your adductor muscle. So today, to work out and focus on that inner thigh, improving that knee stability, just like those speed skaters, we are going to be doing a side slider lunge. So for this one, you're going to need a tea towel or a face cloth. You're going to place that on the floor. From there, start in that hip width apart position, but this time one foot on the cloth, one okay. foot on that stable, steady surface. We're gonna From use there, magazines here, Steven. <laughs> always getting creative, I love it. Yes. Okay, from here, slide that leg that's on that magazine out to the side, making sure that other knee remains aligned over that supporting foot. And here's where you're gonna feel that inner thigh as you squeeze and bring that leg all the way back up. Repeating oh, yeah. this side lunge with that slider on both sides is really gonna target that inner thigh, bringing a little bit more stability to that knee as well as control and function. 
Oh, I like this one. Mm -hmm. This is a good one. I yeah. feel this one. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you're feeling it too with your facial expressions, uh, Jeff. That, and by the way, uh, my apologies to whoever subscribed to Strategy Magazine. This month is uh, going to be pretty much unreadable. <laughs> We're actually going to uh, channel uh, another great uh, Canadian Olympian. This time it's Christine De Bruin, who won bronze back on Monday for a bobsledding. And this, you say, we need some real core power. Yeah, so you'll notice that at the beginning of every bobsled race, they're creating a ton of acceleration with their legs, but they also have to simultaneously translate this energy into the arms to push the bobsled. The reason this translation of energy from the legs to the arms is so successful is because they have a strong core. So we're going to work our core in a similar position to you notice that the bobsledders push their sled. So to start that, we're going to start in a traditional yoga pose called downward dog. We're going to be performing an exercise called mountain climbers. In your downward dog position, hands and arms wide apart, feet the same width, really push that floor away from you. From here, slowly bring one knee towards the chest, balancing on three points of contact and put your foot back down. And now the other knee, bring it up as high as you can towards that chest and bring it back down. You can also speed this up just like the bobsledders with a little bit of a faster run or even bring a little bit of a twist in to engage those obliques for a little bit extra of that side core. And make sure when you're done, done. Keep going. <laughs> I was just, when I was you're just done to get, <laughs> <laughs> to get that nice stretch, just flip her on over. And stand on it. Stephen, what did you just do there? I yeah. missed you. I missed your flip this time. Did you do a front flip? Oh. Yeah, go for it. Give it a try. Okay. It's, just it's, you. it's a nice, simple kick over, and then you just kind of oh, roll back up. Wow. You know, it's funny because I was going to say, I have been doing these in my workouts the last couple of weeks, and I add like a little of this to it as well. But that really nice. doesn't, doesn't really add up to what Stephen just did. So. I'm okay. Nice well, I'm stuck. <laughs> no. no I'm <laughs> okay, we're going to move over to the skeleton event. And uh, we're also going to celebrate Canadian Morella Raniva. Recently achieved her career best Olympic finish for this sport. So, Stephen, what are we going to engage when we're talking the skeleton? Okay, so we're going to talk core again, just like we were with the Bob play. But what's cool about the skeleton is the position that they're on. It's a little bit different going from a seated position into that skeleton position. So we're gonna change up our plank and kind of put it on its head by doing a reverse plank. So it's still gonna challenge your core, but in a different way. So you'll notice I start in a nice, simple seated position. Everyone loves this okay. starting position. And from here, move into that crab walk where you have all your weight on your hands and your knees. Once you're comfy here and you feel stable, slowly walk those feet out as far as you can, trying to keep those hips lifted. And now you're in that reverse plank position. While you're here, try not to hold onto that breath, but instead think of squeezing those glutes, keeping that core lifted, and try to avoid that gradual sag down. This is gonna be great to work out that core endurance as well as that core strength in just a different position than what you're usually used to in that traditional plank on your hands or your forearms. How am I going to get on my skeleton like this? I don't know. I, let's see how long <laughs> we can hold this. Maybe we can go right to the end of the show. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. Uh, <laughs> I think we're ready uh, for Beijing. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, come on. Just, uh, we don't even have to qualify. I just think we automatically qualify for Team Canada by completing this great workout. Steven, some uh, great stuff. Thank you so much, and great to see you this morning. <laughs> Thank you.